buddy who's been held in those conditions in captivity for five years has paid an extraordinary price. But that, that is really uh, not the point. The point is that he's back. He's going to be safely reunited with his family. He served the United States with honor and distinction. All right, folks, what can I tell you? That's uh, Susan Rice, and uh, joining us now is Charles Hurt. Hello, Charles. Hey, Steve. I, I know you're angry, and so am I. And uh, Lindsey Graham was here a little while ago and said that, uh, you know, there, there's, you can't have confidence in her and she should be replaced. How is it uh, that after the Benghazi fiasco, where, you know, one could argue generously, uh, well, you know, she was given talking points. She's now the national security advisor, and she said this man served uh, his country honorably. Yeah, I mean, the best uh, spin you can possibly put on it is that, that, uh, that Susan Rice and the entire administration was, is so checked out and they're so ignorant of, uh, of, of the, the real world around them. Uh, they're so uh, completely uh, uh, in the dark about, uh, about you know, Bo Bergdahl and, and his history and how that could possibly be that these people wouldn't, considering he was, uh, you know, the, the last person that was still held out there, how they could not have known his history is staggering to me. But that, but that's the, you know, the, the best case scenario is that they're just totally ignorant and, and it's no wonder uh, Barack Obama and Susan Rice are getting pushed all around, all over the globe by everybody. But quite frankly, I, I, I honestly believe that it had to have been something a whole lot more nefarious where they knew it and they, they knew that, that by, uh, you know, by trumping him up as, the, as a, uh, some sort of war hero and then releasing him in exchange to, for sending you know, five dangerous terrorists back out onto the battlefield, that, that by doing that they knew that, that people on, on, on the right or, or people that, that are particular supporters of theirs to begin with, their heads would explode. And they would just, and they would immediately be like, how in the world could, could something like this happen? And, and it's, the, it's the whole, you know, divide your enemy uh, and have them squabble amongst themselves. And, and I really think, I, I think that that's what this administration has come to. That's, that's their tactic every day, is how can we drive them crazy? And, you know, it's it's insane, and and it's and it's it's a, it's a lack of leadership, and um, and and it suggests that that uh, these people are, um, you know, that, that they're tyrannical uh, at, at levels that we've never seen before. Yeah, even the even uh, uh, Bergdahl's hometown has canceled his uh, his homecoming celebration, and as you pointed out, you know, to give them the benefit of the doubt that they didn't know, that's that that's a big benefit of the doubt. Um, they knew, and they knew so much more than we know now, I believe. And now, now you know what they're doing. Now the administration and their surrogates are trashing the soldiers who served honorably in yeah. that platoon, saying, oh, you know, it was five years ago and memories change, or, oh, it's like they're playing telephone, the State Department spokesman said yesterday. You know how stories change. And uh, today we find out that uh, the White House aides were telling Chuck Todd, at least, who I heard it from, that they didn't know that, uh, that Berg, uh, Bergdahl would be swift boated. So the evil, evil, stupid, conniving, memory lapsing soldiers who did serve with honor, they're the problem. Yeah. And, and the thing that, and you know, we heard Harry Reid uh, go to the floor today and trash these people and accuse, accuse them of trying to score political points. Is that what they are saying? To the, is, that, is that what he, he thinks of the mothers, the Gold Star mothers and the fathers of the soldiers who died searching for this guy? Do they think that do, do, are, so they're accusing them, these Gold Star mothers, of simply wanting to score political points? That's why the, 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 the mother of one of the soldiers asked, my son died searching for this deserter, for this traitor? And so Harry Reid has launched a war on, on the mothers and fathers of the, of the soldiers who died searching for this guy? That's, that, that's where we are right now. And it is insane. These people, I mean, no wonder, uh, the, you know, the, the, uh, American faith in their government is, is at a staggering, breathtaking record low. Yeah, well, they, they don't care. I, 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 I really believe they don't care. And, and Harry Reid... 
is uh, to me as one of the most reprehensible people uh, to serve in the Senate that I could ever remember. I mean, forget what he's doing to the Koch brothers. They're big boys. They could take care of themselves, yet yeah. it's unprecedented. Remember what he said about the kids saving a kid with cancer. He yeah. actually said, why should I? I have people who are laid off back home. And, and he got a total pass on that. That's who Harry Reid is. And I got to tell you, I mean, look, you, know, you and I have talked about Barack Obama every way, upside down, backwards, forwards, and in between. And I, this... He doesn't care anymore, uh, Charles. He doesn't care. He's good. I th I, where did I read or hear that uh, the, the inside story is he knows that the public won't agree with what he does anymore. He doesn't care. He's going to do it anyway. And unless, unless we get, I don't know, unless somebody tries to uh, politically stop him by going to court or some other way politically, then we're, we're, we're doomed for the next three years of this. Yeah, and, and then that, that uh, faint apology where he... Uh, uh, told Congress, well, you know, it, we, we, we should have advised you or alerted you to this, and, you know, we're sorry for the oversight or whatever it was that they said. My goodness, that, that's not the problem here. The problem here is that, as Diane Feinstein, the Democrat, Harry Reid's ranking Democrat on the Intelligence Committee, said they have discussed this issue, and they are you have unanimously agreed not to swap prisoners for, for Bob Bergdahl because they do not want to create a, a, a worldwide marketplace for American soldiers and, and Americans abroad to be snatched and held ransom from, from the wealthiest country on the planet. Oh, but Charles, and, and Charles, our defense secretary said, no, that's not going to happen. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> and, you, and you know, and you know, when, when uh, the members of Congress are more principled than, than the people in the White House, Wow. Wow. <laughs> no. You are a dirty, dirty politician when, when you look to Congress and Congress is, is standing on morals and principle that, that uh, you, you couldn't even uh, uh, fathom. You know, you brought up such a good point, the Gold Star mothers and fathers of the, uh, some say it's as much as 18 dead who uh, died as a, either direct result of looking for uh, Bergdahl. And by the way, there are reports now that he, this was not the first time he left the base in such a manner, uh, but uh, they, you know, because of circumstances that led to keeping a facility open uh, and because to, to help in the search for him, other people died. So there was a lot of people who, who maybe as many as 17 or 18 soldiers who died. They're not getting their day in the Rose Garden. And I got to tell you, Mika Brzezinski, of all people, uh, this morning on MSNBC said, the president should have went to the, 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 um, the press room on Saturday, read a statement, and went home instead of throwing a party in the Rose Garden with the parents standing there. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, but do, do you, you can't, I mean, you know, he looks at those people. And that is my supposition. And we're left with nothing but, but, uh, but, but what is sort of right before us. It is the idea that, that uh, it's almost like he can relate to those parents. And, and, and I don't begrudge them anything. You know, their, their son was missing. Uh, and, and I get that, and, and people will do anything and say anything to get a child back, and I, I don't begrudge them anything. But for whatever reason, he related to, to these people in, in whatever way. You know who these people don't relate to? They don't relate to the parents who, have, uh, who, who, who believe in honor and, and uh, duty and, and who have watched, sacrificed their children to, to the greater uh, effort of, of our country. And, and are standing there now looking and saying, I lost my son to this? I lost my son to this? They, these people, they don't care about those parents. They don't care about those people. I really do, and I realize that's a hateful thing for me to say, but I think it's true now. I, 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 you know, I, I have tried to give these people the benefit of the doubt at every turn, but I, I, I've just lost it. And the fact that, that Americans are even having to sit around and have a conversation about these sorts of things, it just shows what this disgusting people they are. And, and you know, America's better than this. They, 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 people should not have to have these debates where, where uh, you know, where, where you know, patriotic Americans are, are uh, having to, to think the most vile and, and treasonous things about not only their commander-in-chief, but one of their soldiers. And, uh, yeah, this is... Well, really well you bad. point out in your piece, Charles, uh, and, you know, that uh, this is probably or could be 
Now there's a report on Drudge, as you well know, that uh, uh, there's uh, th th an another Gitmo prisoner reportedly on his way out. Uh, this is, uh, you know, he, look, he can't close Gitmo down through the Congress, so he's doing it his way. And this was the first uh, step of it. He can't take uh, uh, override the Second Amendment, so reportedly they're going after now gun manufacturers and buying up the ammunition. Uh, he has a pen, he has a phone, uh, he, you know, he'll do whatever he wants. Yeah, and, and, and you know, we, we're all so used to being sort of outraged at the Clintons and, and what the Clintons did and everything. But, you know, you know, uh, Bill Clinton set Mark Rich back on the world. What is it? What, what, this guy's going to set this, enti this entire crew of people who want to want to destroy, uh, uh, kill American children, destroy America. He's going to set them all back out on the... Is that who he's going to... Is that going to be his, his 11th hour pardon? Yeah, and, uh, and, and, and you know what? I, you know what? Somebody should ask Michelle Obama, who gave that radio address as they used to call it a few Saturdays back, which I know we talked about, when they framed the whole Boko Haram thing in terms of, or she did, a, a war against girls, uh, getting yeah. an education. That's all Boko Haram was about, war, girls getting it. What do you think these Taliban guys are going to do for girls' effort to get an education in Afghanistan? I'd like to hear that question put to him and Michelle. That's a great point. It's a great point. And, and who do you think is going to get killed first? Uh, by these 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 uh, mad bombers. Of course, it's going to start in places like Afghanistan and North Africa and and across the Middle East. Th those are the people who are going to get killed first, and they're going to keep it up and keep it up and keep it up until they can bring it back to to our shores here. But they, they, they there these people that have no concept of reality. This is I mean, give us Jimmy Carter, please. I, I would give anything just for three more years of Jimmy Carter instead of this. This is just. And, and, you know, uh, Congressman Stockman, who was going to be on uh, later this hour, who I actually uh, recorded the interview a little while before the show, um, he was outraged. And, and, uh, and he said, uh, why don't we trade Susan Rice uh, for, the, uh, for the Marine being held in the, the jail like a dog <laughs> in Texas? And right away I said, you know what that reminds me of? And I didn't know why I said, I said, Nolan Ryan for Jim Fergosi, the trade the Mets made. Uh, and then I, then I said, then after he left, I said, let me analyze that trade. I said, okay, certainly the Marine is Nolan Ryan. Susan is uh, Rice is uh, Fergosi. Yeah, we should make that trade. <laughs> it would be a good deal, that's for sure. Man, if she doesn't get fired, I mean, I, you know, maybe they have to keep her around. Well, Graham is the much. only Graham's the only one I heard say replace her. I mean, I pressed him on it, and he finally said, yeah. So uh, I, I don't know, but I got, I mean, look, what, not to quote Hillary, but my, my palms are raised. What difference does it make if she got fired? So the next person in there would be worse. You have to bear your fangs when you say, <laughs> what difference does it make? Oh, my goodness. Hey, Charles, I know, look, I, I, I can't believe the country that our children are growing up in, and yeah. I pray that it changes. I pray bring that. Bring back Jimmy Carter. Bring, back, bring back anybody. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Charles. Thank you. Charles Hurt, ladies and gentlemen, uh, of course, through the ballot box, through politics, as I alluded to earlier, uh, Barack Obama should be stopped through political system, the ballot box, nothing else implied, nothing else tolerated. Not on this show, folks, but um, I want my son to grow up in the America that I grew up in, where the President of the United States loved his country, protected his people. Okay? Is that what we have now? Is that what you're seeing? Is that what the parents of the dead soldiers from, ben, from Benghazi or from uh, the, that went out looking for the uh, 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 Bergdahl, is that what they're seeing? Man, this is beyond just chatting on a show. This is coming, as it often does from me, but it's coming from Charles, I could tell, from Ron Christie who sat here. It's coming from here, very much from here, on the Steve Malsberg Show panel next.